This is Dr. the Most Honorable Anthony Gabby Carter, known to you as the Gabberts. And um, I just want to say that us going Republic, for me, was long, long overdue. And I'm glad that this present regime has seen it fit to take us that next step because we were loitering on the British people's stool our footstep for much too long, for much too long. And so I am very proud that on the 30th of November, Barbados will become a republic. I know it's not going to be called the Republic of Barbados or anything like that. It's just still going to be called Barbados, but that's not relevant. What's relevant is that we have taken this step to finally sever our ties with the British in terms of their monarch being the head of our state. <clears throat> now, far as people are concerned, the populists, I think they too should be more than proud that we are taking this giant step because it is a giant step. It may seem like a little step um, because, you know, the fanfare and everything that could have been uh, exhibited was not exhibited. And it's good. It reminds me of when we removed Nelson's statue. No big set of fanfare. We went down there and uh, very quietly we saw the Nelson statue being removed. And symbolically, that was very important to the people of Barbados. And similarly, us going Republic for our people is a giant step in the right direction. Now, having been a British colony, so to speak, for so many years, there are some skeptics who would say, oh, no, we live in the Commonwealth and the British are not going to come here anymore. Uh, that, that's so much nonsense. I, I would not buy that, not even for a penny, because that rhetoric has no place in our future, in our present, in this year, 2021. We have to be proud that we are moving in this direction. We have to be proud that finally we have broken the shackles of colonialism in its totality. And some people might be wondering, what kind of republic? What kind of this? What that? It's not relevant, you know. It's not relevant. Although some people are trying to make an argument out of it. And some would say, oh, we should have had a referendum. We have never had a referendum on anything that big. When we joined the Caribbean Court of Justice, there was no referendum. When Barbados went to become an uh, uh, independent country, there was no referendum. So I don't agree with those who say we should have had a referendum. I know, all that is a waste of time and energy and money. Right? We were ready, we were ripe, we are ready, we are ripe to take this step that will benefit us in many ways. When I became a chief in Nigeria, every single time they introduced me, they introduced me as coming from the Republic of Barbados. And we could not convince them that we were not a republic. And they said, oh, you're independent? Yeah, well, then you're a republic. <coughs> so, <coughs> you know, I'm very happy for Barbados. I'm happy for our people. I'm happy for myself as an artist and as a Barbadian, and I look forward to Barbados' future being as bright as any star. You know, young Barbadians have no idea what it was like to live under colonialism. I did, I do. And um, when we became a, 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 sorry, a, an independent country in 1966, it was euphoria. Because we knew as young people what that meant. Our young people today have got to embrace this. Some say, oh, but they ain't giving me a job. They ain't, you know, it's not 
about that only. It's about understanding what direction you're going. And remember, this is all for the youth. We would soon die. And this would be for the youth of the country to go forward on a global platform, on a global scale. And they are going to take us into the future. I have no doubt. People will always talk about all the young people, this is young people, that not me. I've seen too many great things done by young people for me to knock them in that way. It is just a matter of educating them as to how this going republic can affect them in a very positive light. And so to the young people, I say go ahead, embrace it, embrace your future. The future is bright.